From hot spots and hidden gyms to lots of local flavor, it's your guide to LA the unscripted way. And tonight we're highlighting the senior crowd. And welcome to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon from inside the famed retirement house from TikTok, the perfect spot to host our show about SoCal seniors. And these are the hottest seniors in SoCal. Everyone here is over 70 and they have over 5 million followers. We're going to meet everyone throughout the show and take you inside all the TikTok action coming up. How great is that? But first, one of the toughest decisions in a woman's life to go gray or not to go gray. Well, we found the silver hair specialist of the stars and all of his clients say he's to die for. Hi, how are hello, you? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, I'm Dana, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you, Dana, welcome. I, thank you so much, I've heard so much about you. A client of mine came to see me and she was uh, retiring early and she told me, I saw a lot of transformations you did from dark to blonde. Can you do this ha uh, hair as a gray? And I accepted uh, the challenge and I did it within seven hours. This is such a beautiful gray. See These how are, beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, look how shiny it is. Every single person's natural hair is beauty. And the myth we had from uh, old school, it's not true that gray uh, related to old age because most of my clients are in their 30s and 40s. And I don't think 30s and 40s is an old age. I had a lot of uh, famous people beautiful faces sitting in this chair and I was very honored to help them. You know, Jane Fonda was here, Andy McDowell, Francis Fisher, and the wife of the Anthony Hopkins. I always ask my clients to grow their roots about three to four inches so I can see the pattern clearly of their gray so I can match the rest of the hair to it. And secondly is because mentally I want the client to accept the challenge to start to see how beautiful her gray is. This process takes about seven hours to 15 hours. It depends on the length, the thickness, and how dark the hair is. When the process was completed and I looked at my hair, I felt so complete because this was something that I'd been wanting to do. And I think the word that really stands out to me is authentic that it was really me. And people truly do stop me on the street and say, oh, your hair, your hair looks so good. Oh, it's so beautiful. Tears, I see joy of tears. And that really make me feel amazing. So that's uh, just a demo mm -hmm. to show clients what their hair can be, or also to show stylists how to achieve this so in a salon. I can only say from my experience, that this has just been life-changing for me. You are beautiful no matter what. Uh, you look at a man uh, with the gray hair, you feel he's distinguished, he's sexy, you know, and a woman can be even more than that. That's why we have to break those bars and the pressure of the society on women that you have to color your hair in order to be accepted in the society. It was so nice to meet you. You are truly an artist, and thank, thank you, you for everything you do for women. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you, and thank you for having me. I mean, talk about Fifty Shades of Grey. He really is a miracle worker. And by the way, this is Retha. Retha, can you tell the audience, you have bought, it, by the way, beautiful gray hair. Thank you. What is your favorite thing about getting older? My favorite thing about getting older is people help you. Really? I can be walking upstairs and I'll know that, oh, sir, could you help me up the stairs? Oh, sure, certainly. I would. Will you help me with my groceries? Will you get a drink for me, please? That makes my heart so happy to hear that. See, good job, LA. I love hearing that. And you know, for a lot of seniors, working out is more than just gaining strength. It's about staying social. And we found a gym that's actually the perfect fit for people over 50. It's never too late, but it's never too early to start. Okay, we're gonna do left, center, both. You're going down. Both is the hard one because you gotta jump with both feet. Okay. Oh, I can't play. I quit. <laughs> 
Active is a fitness studio for older adults, 50 plus. It focuses in on physical conditioning, but also with an emphasis on brain health. I think health, physical health and activity is one of the best things you can do, especially for us who are aging, getting it in there and um, feeling productive and more well. There's a lot of neurological diseases that are hitting older adults like Parkinson's and dementia, the most common being Alzheimer's disease. But if you get active, both physically and challenging your mind as well, you can improve your function. Before you even step into a class, we have a dry erase board that gives you some sort of riddle or something to get you start thinking. And uh, when it comes to cognitive challenges, we use a piece of equipment called the SmartFit uh, Pro Trainer Wall. Put your left leg out. Okay, that's a lot of thinking. It's, uh, when you do the exercise here, they're designed to do something that hits you at home. Okay, I, if I can focus, I can do it. Here, you're coming to work out with peers who understand your medical conditions, that when you wake up in the morning and you groan, it's not because you're injured, it's just because you just don't feel like the best. Not being social is kind of a risk factor for disease and dementia, and uh, you can improve your chances of pausing or pushing off cognitive decline by simply interacting with other people and having conversations. Interaction with people and people who really are on the same path as me is trying to incorporate health into their lives. Our audience here ranges anywhere from 50 to 92 years of age. We, uh, I'd say our average when last calculated was about 69 years of age. I'm pushing 60 and it's a great place to be. I'm not an exercise person and this makes exercise fun. I really get a lot of cardio, I get strength, core, agility, mobility, flexibility, even brain work in and in fact this is my favorite part of the day. Just no substitute for person-to-person -person interactions. How have things changed since you've been coming to this gym? Oh my gym? God, I'm doing everything. I've got six grandkids and I'm keeping up with them. I'm going to theme parks unassisted with a cane, unassisted in a cart. I'm walking, um, I'm picking them up, I'm running with them. I'm just having a great time. And that's really for me, it's the most inspiration. They're my inspiration and my motivation for being here. Okay, I love seeing all those seniors in shape. Now this is Patty, and Patty, you're actually very in shape. Can you tell me what's important to you about staying in shape? Staying strong, staying flexible. That's really important. You have to stretch all your muscles, okay. or else you can't use the joints around them. You know, I'm gonna start telling people I'm vintage instead of old. Okay, now I want you guys to meet Jerry. Now Jerry, what do you think is the best part of getting older? Well, yeah. Lose all the pretension. Okay, I like that. You can say your mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can still chase, but I can't catch beauties like you anymore. <laughs> I loved her. <laughs> they told me Jerry was going to say something about chasing the women. They warned me, and you did not disappoint. I'm a natural bone chaser. <laughs> oh my God, I love you. LA and Scripted will be back with so much more from TikTok's Retirement House in just a minute. Welcome back to LA Unscripted, Senior Spectacular from inside TikTok's Retirement House. I'm Dana Devon and this beauty is Galen. And Galen, what is your favorite thing about being a TikTok star? Well, I love LA. And perfect. I love making LA people laugh. You found the perfect show. <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. I love you, Galen. Well, we actually found another up and coming 63 year old social media darling. And we didn't have to look too far because she's actually an LA unscripted producer and she's standing right Yay. here. <laughs> when I was 13, I made a giant proclamation that I would not get married until I was old. I do wear what I post, but I do make mistakes all the time. Born in 1960 like me and you weren't married by then, you were an old maid. I think I first became interested in fashion in my 40s, actually, and it was really only after getting fully invested in Sex and the City. So this is actually the most magical thing I own. This the goes phone. right here in my little spot here. Oh, so this is the runway that I see. This is the runway. Oh, there Patricia is. Fields and Carrie from Sex and the City and Jenna Lyons from J. Crew actually shaped how I learned how to get dressed because 
both of them broke all the fashion rules. It's one thing to just get dressed on camera, but it's a whole other thing to start in your bra and underwear. What gave you the courage to be in your bra and underwear in your 60s? So to be honest, the TikTok started as just a still of me in an outfit with no storytelling. And when I started telling stories, I realized I needed more video. I needed the video to last longer. Why I wear boy short panties, trigger warning. And the only way to make it last longer was to start in my underwear. I didn't really have any concept that I was in my underwear on TikTok. So have this side. Oh my God, there's so many fun things in here. <gasps> it just was honestly a way to lengthen the amount of storytelling time that I had was putting myself in underwear. And then I got sponsored for underwear and panties and now I just get free underwear and panties. So it's great. I do a lot of thrifting. I do have a jumpsuit problem as you can tell because <laughs> it's like, Jumpsuit, jumpsuit. I jumpsuit. think it has taken me years to develop my style, whatever that style is. I think my style is sort of no style, eclectic. I'll wear anything as long as I feel confident in it. Heidi always has really good cowboy boots. And by the way, these aren't even half of the cowboy boots that I see her in. I fully believe fashion is 100% confidence. If you have to ask someone how you look or if they like your outfit, you're in the wrong outfit. I think what we need to do though, Dana, is I think we need to put you in an outfit. Okay. We think Dana needs to just get dressed. She's even gonna teach me the this kind of whole thing that you gotta do, that whole thing. And I do think there, there are a lot of rules unspoken, unwritten rules for how someone my age is supposed to dress. And I think that's probably why I found popularity on TikTok because I have ideas that fit 20 somethings, 30 somethings, 40 somethings, 50 somethings, 60 somethings. Like there are no rules for me. As I said, the only rule for me is do I feel confident in it? I'm gonna just get dressed, get it? I mean, the shoes don't fit because I've got big old monster horse feet. And I think the saddest thing about a woman's life is that we finally have confidence in ourselves and who we are and who we've become at 60 when for the most part, people think it's too late for us to do anything about it. But I think I'm proof that you can do anything you want even at 62. Mwah. So much more LA Unscripted from inside TikTok's retirement house coming up. Don't move, we'll be right back. Welcome back to LA Unscripted Senior Show. All things about getting older in SoCal. So we are actually inside TikTok's famed retirement house with the entire cast, and this is Chuck, and Chuck, what is the perfect spot for a date in LA? Well, not so much that I know LA, but to go old school, I take my date out for dinner, oh. and then to a movie, oh. and a walk in the park, oh. and then back to my place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, he's single, so DM me if you want the hookup. All right, and I have, an, I have a suggestion for you. Yes. How about the Tam O'Shanter? That would be at the top of any seniors list. We've got some guests who have been coming here since they were one or two years old. And if you can imagine, we're 100 years old, they're 98, 99, and still coming to the restaurant. It's really an amazing thing to see. Tama Shenner is a restaurant that started here in Atwater Village in 1922. Uh, we were selling uh, hamburgers and potato chips at the time. Walt Disney Studio was right around the corner from here on Hyperion, and he used to be a regular here. So in the 30s, he became good friends with our partners, and he said, hey, you know, if you guys are expanding, what's your theme gonna be? Because theme restaurants were starting to come into rage. The owners had fallen in love with the Scottish countryside. So Walt Disney actually hooked us up with Harry Oliver, who was a famous set designer at the time. And then he brought in his Hollywood set crews to actually build it, and that's exactly how we became this Scottish country manor here in Los Feliz. 
so that's the main dining room or the great dining room with the flags. We have our royal guards room, which is covered with swords and armaments. And then we have, of course, our tartan room, which has all the clan's tartans on the wall. So Tam O'Shanter is actually a poem. Uh, by the famous uh, Scottish poet, the patron saint of Scottish poetry, Robbie Burns. So he wrote this poem about basically a drunken knight's ride. There's a gentleman on a horse, and then all of a sudden there's lightning bolts and all sorts of things as he's running through town on this ride. So the menu is to run in line with the history. You know, we have some very classics on there like fish and chips. We have a twist on a toad in the hole, which is a very classic kind of Scottish, British cooking. So this is the toad in the hole, and traditionally it's made with sausage inside, but they actually kind of did an elevated version of it, and they put filet mignon in it, and it's so good. Such a classic European meal, and so delicious, but kind of Americanized, and it's so yummy. <laughs> We are a seven day a week restaurant open for lunch and dinner. We have an amazing whiskey collection with over 700 whiskeys available. As well as we have live music in our pub and also outdoor dining. So we're celebrating 100 years in business this year, which is quite a feat for any restaurant. It's been really interesting to, to watch our 100 year celebration evolve and watch all the guests come back in with all of those memories that they've had for some of them almost 100 years with us. All right, it's time to see what they do here inside TikTok's retirement house. And this is Monterey. I love your outfit, by the way. You Thank look you. so charming. All right, were you surprised at the success on social media? I was. I mean, I was new to TikTok. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to go like from viral to over 5 million. It's insane. It is insane, absolutely. Now, do you have like grandkids or kids and what do they think about you being a TikTok star? Well, my son is like, oh yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> that's my dad. Yeah, that's my dad. They should not be embarrassed because these guys are killing it. And let's actually show everyone how you all make the magic, shall we? Absolutely. Let's go. You call her Stephanie, uh -huh. I call her Heffany. All right, we're gonna be filming this TikTok. So this will be Rose. Call them in when it starts, they'll come, and then you just start walking. And then you guys just try to be super intimidating, you know? Like you're looking at it like you're going like this. Okay. I've been creating sketches since I was like a kid, um, and I've always wanted to do that, but I've never had like any professional experience. I went to film school, I have a film background, so I've been writing for years. Three, two, one. Retirement House is a modern take on popular content houses that have blown up on social media with our own little twist. So instead of young, hot influencers living in a house together, we took our own route and hired a bunch of senior citizen actors to take the place of them. Bubby, get closer in. It started with a dream of wanting to create content that reaches millions of people. Hey, Bubby, give them like this, just like while you're walking. And we kind of looked at it as our own TV network. Most people don't go hire actors for a TikTok account, but that's what we did. You could be in the back just like with with the game. With this, like. We put out a casting call, had about 400 auditions that we looked at virtually, and then we auditioned about 30 of them or so in person and just kept narrowing it down, narrowing it down. I'm Galen Baker, and I created the character of Mabel. My name is Chuck Lacey, and I'm Eugene. Hi, I'm Retha, and I play Rose. And I'm Monterey Morrissey, and I play Larry. My name is Patty Ulish, and I play Bubby. Well, my name is Jerry Boyd, and I play Curtis. We posted the video, went to sleep with about 500 views, woke up with millions of views and 250,000 followers overnight. It was like the gritty dance. That's on TikTok, the gritty, which they became famous for. We never do a rehearsal. We film every Thursday. We have for a little over a year now. Uh, sometimes we'll send them a script in advance, but for the most part, we kind of just show up and have a field day together. We're getting scripts done like the day before or like the morning of and just showing up and then we're figuring it out while we're here. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mom. Oh, I love this song. So I told you, but you can't be in it. But I know but the song. Give, give, give her a chance. Okay, okay. I started dancing when I was about three years old. I hit a stage, the spotlight hit me. I saw an audience and I said, this is what I'm going to do my whole life. But this is the first 
really big hit that I've ever had. Isn't that funny? I've always wanted to do a series regular on a sitcom, but uh, no, TikTok is it. I knew about TikTok because I decided if I wanted to talk to my grandchildren, I was going to have to learn how they communicate. This really is a family. I mean, we've grown to be such a family on and off camera and just have a wonderful time together. You have to grow older, but definitely do not start acting older. I'd say this has absolutely changed the way that we view senior citizens. These are people in their 70s and 80s, actors that are still following their dreams, still pursuing their passions, so we get a lot of inspiration from them. When I hear about being in your 70s, I'm like, oh, that's not, that's still young. Like, I'm seeing them and just seeing, like, Mabel is dancing on a table at 85. It's very inspiring. Hey, I want to join. Okay, okay. And once again, you guys, Brandon and Adi, thank you guys so much for letting us be a part of the TikTok Retirement House. What a great thing you guys are doing. Thank you. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I think with the seniors being left out of the spotlight, it's been amazing that we've been able to start this. And we didn't intentionally think we would learn so much with them. Um, but hanging out with such a great group has led to, you know, us realizing all these things and it's been it's been awesome. How many new nanas and papas do you have? Six. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. And on the count of three, we're all gonna blow you a kiss, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Good night, everyone.